More legal troubles are surfacing tonight at a plant cited for pollution in the town of Tonawanda. News Force Al Vauters is live in the newsroom with the latest on Tonawanda Coke. Al? Jackie, more than 200 people have come together to sue Tonawanda Coke Corporation and State Supreme Court and are pulling out all the stops. They've called on one of the world's best known champions of environmental causes and one of the attorneys that helped make her famous. As local residents gathered at a neighborhood playground to talk about their fight with Tonawanda Coke, the plant belched a plume of black smoke from the building instead of a smokestack. No, you, got, you guys got it on film now. It's literally, you know, making these people and these children very, very sick. And that's what their lawsuit is all about. Close to 260 plaintiffs from the Tonawandas, Grand Island, and Buffalo hired a team of lawyers to sue the operators of Tonawanda Coke for damages inflicted on their health, their property, and their lives. They formed a group, Citizens United for Justice. What's done is done, unfortunately, but at least these people can be compensated and some of their health bills can be paid for. Environmental officials from the state and federal governments have cited Tonawanda Coke and its owner on many occasions, including criminal charges. But these folks say those actions won't pay their medical bills. We're tired of being sick. We're sick and tired of being sick. We've had enough. We want justice and we want it now. Citizens United even consulted with environmental activist Aaron Brockovich before making their move and hired one of the attorneys that won the $300 million judgment against a West Coast utility company that made Brockovich famous. Spokesperson Joyce Hogenkamp told us the lawsuit filed this week in state court is also a tribute to two of their stalwarts who have passed away much too soon. They have really made all of us promise don't give up. No matter what happens to the two of us, don't you give up. We're all in this together. We're all a community together. The class of victims in the lawsuit includes residents who live around Tonawanda Coke, those who work in that area, and anyone who has spent enough time there to be sickened just breathing the air. Alvarez News 4 at 530.